Hello and welcome to another statue review. Uh, today we've got Podcast Ace from One Piece and this is the model storyline, I think. Um, I had to look this up online actually because unfortunately it might be written on the box but it seems to be written in kanji, uh, which I can't read. But yeah, so um, just something quickly to dis disclaim at the start of this video. I've not watched very much of One Piece. I think I've seen the first, like, ten episodes or something. I think I read the first volume of the manga as well, um, which is no, um, you know, thing against the series, obviously, because I've bought a statue from it. Um, but it, it's just one of those series I've not got around to watching more of. In fact, the reason I bought this is because he was one of my favourite characters from G-Star's Victory Versus, which is like a... It was a fighting game on PS3 uh, that I played a lot of, and Podcast was like my main. Not that I went online much or anything, but he was really fun. Um, and yeah, anyway, I saw this on a sale a while ago, and I really d dug the statue, and I really like the character as well. Again, I don't know too much about him, but I really like his design and everything. So we'll take a look at the box very quickly. This is once again by Ban Presto. Easily one of the best uh, statue makers that I've come across, at least for the like lower end stuff. It's obviously by Crane King, um, and down there it may very well say model story, I don't know. But we do know it's from One Piece, and it's number one in the collection, so I presume there are others as well. Um, so model story, I think, is an interesting series, because if we take a look at the side here... Um, and again, I, I really wish I could read what all this says, but sort of... A lot of it's in kanji and stuff, and I can read Kana, but I can't really translate it very well. Um, it seems to be kind of like something that Ban Presto may maybe outsource to artists and like modelers to create this. So we've got some pictures here of this guy working on it, and on the other side as well, we got like renders of his face and stuff and how they built it. Um, and indeed, on the back, that's more of it again, which is super cool. It just shows the like process, I suppose, of um, how someone goes about making a statue, which is super rad. Like, I want to translate this one day, um, and when I do, I'm sure I'll post her on social media somewhere. And of course, we get a nice view of him there with his pretty cool jacket. Now, I know he usually wears like um, red and orange, doesn't he? So th that's another thing that really um, grabbed my attention here. The costume is super cool. So I've gone ahead and actually got rid of the tape, which is nice. Now it does say up here as well, Jama. I don't know exactly what that is, and I'm sure that says Burazu. Burais. I don't know. Um, anyway, let's spin this around and take him out of the packaging. So um, it's slightly bigger than some other... Ban Presto things I've bought. There should be a base somewhere, hopefully. Uh, yes, I. it feels like... wait, is there a base? Hang on, BRB. Alright, so there is kind of a base. Uh, so we've got his torso and his head, got his legs, and this appears to be the base, which I think will be the counterbalance thing, so you probably put a foot in here, and then the other foot, obviously, is the stabilising force. So, as always, I'm going to go, like, assemble this guy. Um, seems fairly simple, hopefully. Um, and yeah, I'll be back in a second. Uh, see you guys then. Alright, he's assembled, and uh, as I predicted, it was a very easy assembly. Um, just slot the torso onto his legs. The thing that took me the longest, actually, was to see how this, um, this thing balances here. But I'll explain that in a second. Actually, no, I'll go ahead and do it now. So, as you can see, it doesn't, it doesn't like, snap together, it more kind of slides. So, to give you perspective, you put the leg there and the foot there, so it kind of goes like that. Um, and basically, it, so it doesn't, like, snap in place, so technically, you could just have him stand like that. Oh, he's very off balance, I would not do that, or recommend it, hang on. There we go, right, okay, so that's that's got perfect balance there, most of the weight is there, um, which makes sense, because he's got some flowing cape, which we'll go over in a second. All right, so let's take a look at him. So the camera does actually pick his face up as a real human face, which is interesting. Um, but as usual, as usual, we'll begin from the bottom and work our way up. So at the bottom, we've got his shoes, which are kind of painted in a different way, so they do actually set them apart from the trousers, which is pretty cool. Um, and then going around there, we have his pistol. I don't know how much he uses a pistol. Again, I've not watched enough of the series to know. 
but it is damn well detailed along with his sort of like leg holster thing um, and it well actually you can see it's slightly better from a different angle but he does have a belt full of bullets under his um, regular belt which also has the um, there we are sorry that's a better angle which has the um, symbol of the straw hat pirates on it I think think anyway unless that's a different pirate symbol and um, we've got a bit of dynamic kind of uh, tie there which is slightly movable moving on up he's got his man his hands are really well sculpted and stuff they look phenomenal along with the um, different layers of his clothes obviously he's got a shirt under this big shirt uh, his face let's see if I can get a better angle annoyingly I think that's the best we're gonna get because his arm is in the way and there's no way to remove that arm um, but yeah, his face is damn good as well. He's got this kind of messy hair that I really like about Ace. Uh, and then heading to the back there, we've got a fantastic flowing cape. Um, another thing Ban Presto does amazingly is moving fabric. Um, not with all of their figures, obviously, but like when it comes to motion and stuff, they really know how to mould everything because this just looks so like natural so flowy and stuff it's really cool um i am a sucker for capes and long billowy coats as you can probably tell with all my other videos and then we got the patterned uh, shirt underneath that's got some like yellow flowers on it and stuff now i don't know if this features in the anime he probably does wear this at one point i don't know if it's like in a movie um or you know one of the uh arcs or something and indeed we have the hat up here which is fantastic uh, so this is what, you know, he's known for having, um, well, wearing, I think. It's really red, isn't it? Uh, or was it orange? I can't quite remember. And we've got his goggles here. Actually, let me take a look at the goggles for a second. Hey, there we are. Cool. I got it to focus. Sorry about that. I could see there was a lot of detailing on it, but um, it just wasn't plain ball. He's got a kind of rosary, it looks like, around it. It's, it's very cool. But yeah, overall, the detailing, um, as with all of the band presto stuff really is fantastic he's got some really really detailed abs and stuff there as well yeah overall he's a fantastic piece now i know um one piece does tend to like their sort of elongated people obviously this man is a giant his limbs are enormous um but honestly the pose they've got him in and stuff is fantastic so let me put him back on his stand quickly hey there we are and i've dropped the camera down a little bit as well yeah, his pose is fantastic. It's um, it's something that works on a myriad of different angles as well, which is nice to see. So you, you're not sort of stuck to just one thing. Um, I mean, technically, you kind of want him facing forward or at least generally in the viewer's direction. But, I mean, it's not the worst if it's not. For example, that is pretty dynamic. He's facing away and stuff, but to have in the background or wherever... Um, you know, when it comes to the oh, when it comes to the back, you wouldn't particularly want to display him like that. But um, you know, if you've got a mirror or something kind of in the background, as my display cabinet has, it works pretty well, I think, because um, you get the whole thing of the flowing cape without having to kind of rotate him too much to show it off. I think sort of an angle like that, or maybe like that, kind of works best. Yeah, I've, I've got to say, overall, he looks just as good as I thought he, will, uh, he would, really. Honestly, I tend to find, actually, with Ban Presto stuff, a lot of their um, advertising images don't make them look as good as the real thing, which is weird, because usually you kind of find a lot of figures and stuff will spend, you know, weeks getting, like, the right angle, and then when you actually unbox the figure, you're kind of like, oh, that, that's a disappointment. But I don't know, Ban Presto kind of do the opposite. So that about wraps it up for this review. Um, as with my other figure reviews and stuff, keep an eye out because I'll be putting like a short montage of pictures from different angles and stuff just so you can guys can sort of see maybe a bit more details or him from different angles and I'll try and get cool shots or whatever. Um, I'll maybe feature another figure in the background. Unfortunately, this is my only one piece uh, thing so I can't really have a theme going but yeah, we'll see how it goes. And with that, thank you very much for watching. Um, I shall keep making videos in the future. So until next time, goodbye.